Hey guys, John here. You know, I, I get a lot of questions and uh, I love them. I love getting questions. I love getting all the questions. It gives me more uh, topics for videos and gives me things to discuss and it lets me you know, just put out more and more content. And so please keep your questions coming. One of the questions that I get, I get repeatedly, and, and I think it's an interesting one, and I think it's one that almost everybody on earth has, has asked themselves at some time, is like, why aren't my manifestations happening? Why aren't my prayers being answered? You know, they have this, this belief that, that the, the manifestations aren't happening the way they're, they're supposed to. So I thought to myself, what a perfect topic to just open up and ask. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm literally just going to take a drink of water here. And yes, I'm not sick of water yet. <laughs> and I'm just going to open up and I'm going to ask. And uh, well, let's see what, we'll see what comes through. You ask, you pray, you affirm, but you do not believe. Asking is not enough. The words do not create. The belief is the foundational energy of all manifestation. The belief is what creates. The issue that holds people back, the issue that stops people from re receiving their manifestations is their own self-doubt, their own self-worth, their feeling of separation, their feeling of not being worthy of creating, the feeling of being unworthy to, of being separate from the source, from being one, one and alone with some greater entity on the outside that you must ask permission of. This is not how the universe works. This is not how the world, work, world works. This is how you have chosen to believe. And so, because you believe in separation from the source that is your creative energy, from the source that gives you all that you need to achieve or that all that you ask to achieve, then you receive separation because that is your belief. Your belief is shown to you. The moment that you live in is a residual effect to, to the past beliefs that you have carried to this moment. To create something new, you must step out of the belief and into something new. You must step out of the belief of lack and into the, into the belief of achieving or receiving. You must step into the idea that you get to ask and you get to receive because you are the one creating through your belief. And your belief is the strongest force in the universe. Your imagination, as, as Einstein said, is the view of coming attractions. As long as you believe, but it is your belief, your faith, your energy of, of the thought of it happening. But where people lose their faith is in their actions. Because once you declare that you are receiving, your actions are a product of belief. Do you believe you're receiving? And if so, would you do that thing? Would you act that way? Would you be that person? Would you teach that person this, this way of thinking? Would you show your children to, to wander in separation and lack? Would you do those things if what you asked for you achieved? If you, if you knew full well that you were the creator of your experience and that the pure energy of the universe was at your beck and call, if you had the full awareness and belief that you could, then you would. But it's, it is that separation, that awareness of separation, which is why you are here, is to feel your separation and that idea of separation being a, being a tool to come back to your creator selves, come back to your Christ itself, come back to your power, to your oneness with everything. You are everything and everything is you. And so because of this, when you think it becomes reality, it becomes in your existence, it becomes formed in the energy around you. It is realized. It is realized. It is created into your reality through your belief, through your thoughts, through your words, and through your deeds. Oftentimes, people will ask and pray, and the next moment, they will act as if they don't or are not aren't, and achieving. And the and the actions are based upon the words, and the and the words are are. are just words without the thoughts. So the actions are based upon the thoughts and the thoughts are just beliefs. And your beliefs are what it creates. So if you truly believe you are receiving, would you do that next thing? 
Would you say that next word? Would you do that other thing? Oftentimes people will say that they want abundance and the next statement they make is one of lack. Well, oftentimes they will repeat that they want abundance and they keep manifesting want and by declaring the lack in the in the continual asking. Their belief, the reason they continue asking is because they believe they aren't. And if they could believe they were, then they would receive and not worry again. They would receive and become abundant of, of all the manifestations they've ever asked for. They could receive and create an outcome that is instantaneously uh, realized if their belief was strong enough, if their belief was powerful enough, if they truly believed. And in that believing moment, life is realized in that same moment if you so choose. But it is your belief that has to get you there. And it is difficult. It is difficult when you feel so separate to believe because that separation itself makes you feel less than. It makes you feel alone in the wilderness. And in that wilderness that you wander, it is only until you become the guide of your journey that you step into the idea that you get to create the outcome. You get to create the destination. You get to be your own spiritual GPS. Type in where you want to go and be shown the way. And that is what you need to do. Step into the belief. Realize that the belief itself is what is creating. It is not your words. It is, the, it is your belief. But you have to carefully manage the beliefs. Because the beliefs that are there are, are, are a product of your past beliefs. And those past beliefs are without a doubt not your own. They are experience. They are from other people. They are... They are experiences of judgment and lack and fear. Those experiences show you your separation. But that's why you're there is to experience that separation through those experiences. But once you experience those things, it's for you to find your way back. It is for you to find your way back to being the creator self, to being the God self, to being the one self. You know, greater works than I have done, you will do. And that is the case in this case. You need to step into the role of creator. You need to step into the Christ itself and realize you do create. You are, you are not asking somebody else to create for you. You're not asking a God figure to, to create your reality. You are asking and you are receiving because you are declaring and you are creating. You need to step into that role of creator, step into that role of, of the, the master manifester, the one who, who gets what they ask for, you know, but you must be careful what you ask for because sometimes your asking itself is from a subconscious belief because from your fears and your judgments, from your expectation of a negative outcome, those are sometimes your beliefs and you need to change those present moment beliefs because you can only live those present moments in, this, in the present moment. You can only have your beliefs in your present moment. Your past is, is not a place where you, your consciousness resides. Your, your subconscious blurts out of your mouth in the conscious moment, but it's in the conscious moment that you must change the outcome. You must change the belief. You must change the the idea. You must live one step ahead of yourself. You must live in the creator portion rather than the, the created portion. The creator portion is the one who steps ahead and lists what they are creating and brings it into their experience. The created portion lives in insanity where they live the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, that different result will never come if you continue to live in the belief of the past and the belief of the lack and the belief of the desire and unrealized. Once the desire is realized, you, you, you come to realize that you were the one who created it. You were the one who stepped ahead of yourself. You were the one who declared and then acted upon. And once you declare and you act upon, then that is realized into your experience. I hope this answers the question that is asked of, of this because it is one that is frustrating for us as well. It is one that is frustrating for all of us as one because those who get it see the ones who struggle with this daily and, and, and feel their pain, feel their urgency, feel their struggle, feel their frustration, and know that it's just the simplest stepping ahead of yourself, stepping out of the past, being born again, letting go of your past and starting something new, stepping ahead of yourself and getting onto the, the curve of creation rather than the, the, the curve of recreation. Step out there on, on, on creation and live in the creative moment for you are the creator and in that creator moment 
You are the I am, and I am creating is your mantra. And um, there you have it. <laughs> um, it literally comes down to belief. It literally comes down to stepping into belief. And this is something that I talk to people about all the time, but this was very, very much clearer, very much more clearly said and in some ways more eloquent. So <laughs> there you go. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below it right now and, and join in the comment section. Add a comment. Comment on someone else's. Let's get this community talking about these topics, and let's get, get this information out there. Also, if you really like this or you really resonate with some of the things that I'm saying on this channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and share because it's, this information is not about us holding it to ourselves. It's about spreading it out so we can change the, the perspective of the world so people can find their own truth so we can create a more loving world. So don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Let's get this community really growing. And that'd be great. And thank you for watching. And thank you for all your support of me. It has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you.